Hi guys, welcome to my first plugin here on ChooseBar. This one is called Fine Line. It is based on different shapes and their outlines and can be used as a generative source in Arena and Avenue. Let's dive into it. This is what the plugin looks like if you drop it from your sources tab to an empty clip slot. You see, you have plenty of parameters to adjust and you can get many different looks out of this single source. The first options to choose is called Shape and lets you choose from a selection of shapes that will be the basis for your visuals. Next you can choose Mode. This defines a distribution. In Count Mode all your shapes have their origin in the center and you define the amount of shapes of the count parameter. In Columns and Rows Mode your shapes are arranged in a grid and you define the amount of shapes of the columns and the rows parameters. Next you have the Randomized Trigger which simply adds a new random feed to the random values from your source. This can look cool if for example triggered to the beat. With color you can choose two colors for your shapes and they will all get a shade of color between those two colors. The speed option adjusts the speed of the animations that are happening inside the plugin. Rotate rotates all your shapes. And the rotation spread adds some randomness to that by offsetting each shape's rotation value. Same goes for the scale and the scale spread. The first will be your main scale value for each shape and the spread will add some random distribution to the size. You can also choose the scale animation mode. Currently this is set to noise. So the animation is based on a Perlin noise oscillator which gives the organic movements that you see. You can also choose to set the scale animation to linear which will scale each shape from small to large and then start again. Noise amplitude lets you set the range of the noise animation. Move spread moves each shape a bit off from its center position to get even more randomness. With the thickness you can set to have thin or thicker outlines. Bloom can be used to get this bit of extra glow. Be aware that this can be a bit heavy on your machine, so if you are experiencing performance issues you can try setting this to zero, which will completely bypass that effect. Feedback and feedback scale can either give you a subtle motion blur or some crazy looks if used on a more extreme end. Fade in out and spread fade lets your shape disappear and reappear over time, either all at the same time or each on its own. Finally, the fill shape fills each shape with a black instead of being transparent. In my opinion the real power of this plugin comes when combined with the internal animation possibilities that Arena and Avenue offer. Here you can see the same animation as before but I added a subtle timeline animation to the scale parameter and a pulsing PPM animation with an envelope to the scale spread. This can also look cool if stacked on top of the original clip like this. I prepared a few different looks and would quickly click through them. You can see every second clip here is marked blue. For this little demo I always prepared one look with only adjusting the parameters from the plugin. Then use this look to add a little extra animation inside Arena. So the first clip is always a clean clip and the second one with extra animation either set to timeline or BPM sync. Let's check it out.